Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott Circlin with CircWorks. Uh, this is the last part of my series on how to uh, build a, an awesome Comic Con booth using uh, EPS or XPS foam um, and some other materials. You can see right here, I, I didn't get much into this, but I've built this tabletop. This is going to be the table of my display. It's still a little under construction. But uh, anyway, back to what we were talking about before. Um, as you can see, these are the pieces that, the individual pieces that I, that I uh, cut out of the foam and hard coated, painted, textured, did all that cool stuff to them, as you may have seen in previous videos. But now I'm going to kind of show you what to do with all this stuff when you're done. So, um, we're looking at the backs and you can kind of see I've labeled each piece. I've made a little diagram. Let's go over here. Um, this shows me how they all fit together. So, how do they fit together? Well, I've built this uh, structure out of uh, PVC, as you can see. And this is going to be the backdrop of my display, and I kind of have to <laughs> excuse the big mess behind it, but uh, that's what happens when I start working on stuff. Um, anyway, so, and the PVC is all numbered, so I know how to put that together. I'm probably going to paint it black, which means I'm going to have to renumber it. Um, but, uh, but anyway, yeah, so I've built this structure. Um, and if you do something similar to this, just make sure you uh, record very well how you put it together. And, uh, because once I take this down, just to put it back together the correct way, um, it's, that's going to be probably the most difficult part. Um, surprisingly, these pieces that I put are fairly easy they're just gonna snap on and I'll show you how I did that so let me walk around on the other side of the table okay so I've coated the backs lightly um, so I could stick things to them like this velcro um, and then I've painted everything black that's not necessarily um, crucial but uh, but it, it some people may see the back depending on the kind of display you have if it goes over over your uh, piping and draping or wherever, whatever kind of convention you're doing. Um, so anyway, I have placed some foam and I've mapped everything out. I've tested everything out on, over this PVC. And then I went and bought these, uh, what are these for? These are for these little U-shaped things I don't know the actual name for them but they're for like securing metal pipes to walls or, or whatever and then I've put velcro on that so these are just gonna straddle the PVC and you wanna make sure you get some decent uh, industrial straight uh, um, velcro and then on the top I've placed let's see placed some velcro up there as well so when these pieces go together let's see, then I'm just gonna put a strip of velcro one-sided that you don't want the sticky stuff but I'll show you here I've got I've got a bag of these let me open those pull a few of them out <laughs> um, and then those are just gonna fasten together so they stay but let me let me set this on the tripod and I will show you how I'm putting these uh, how I'm securing these to the PVC uh, okay so everything again everything is numbered so that's gonna go like right there I get my pieces line it up and you can't see this because you're on the other side, but I'm popping these on. I'll show you. I'll show you this next piece. I'll just rotate it around so you can see. So you got that there. Uh, get my second piece, and this one I'll kind of show you. I'll put it on backwards and we'll swivel it around. So we're so just gonna pop on there like that. And because these will swivel around, that's why you need to get these extra Velcro pieces. And on the back, like I said, I had Velcro right here. I'm just going to put these on here. That'll stop it from swinging around. And then 
oops, why is this so bright? Okay, whoa. <laughs> all right, so anyway, and I'm just going to do that, all the pieces, all the way up, all the way around, to the other side, and that'll be that. So, um, so that's, that's, uh, that's kind of how I'm assembling all these pieces. Uh, I probably won't load this up till after the convention, after the Phoenix Comic Con. So I, I, maybe I'll take some video of me actually putting the whole thing together and show you. Uh, so that should be next. Here at the third, or actually last day of uh, Phoenix Comic Con, I just thought I'd show you a little bit what my booth looks like when it's finished. So I'll just kind of pan around here. If you've been following along, you've seen me build all these pieces. I'll have to step back and get a better picture, but so I've got my display, I got my little conveyor belt going on. Here, let me step back. So that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing I probably should have put another black backdrop because the one side kind of gets lost and everything. But yeah, so oh, you can see I've got the logo up front. Had a little bit of a mishap yesterday when somebody sat, decided they were going to sit on the table and kind of fell apart. I had to put that back together, but uh, luckily I had all my tools and everything with me. So uh, that's about it.